All right, guys. Welcome back to the garden. Man. So I did a little theory. I showed. I should have showed you guys, but I found a way to get these guys over here and keep the light far away from them. So finally, get figured out somewhat. This light, keep them on that way, keep them that way, get back control. Oh, no, that didn't work. Oh, I had it just now. Yeah, try it out. I think we need all the pieces. Uh, I think I should have dashed. Before. Yep. The engineer called Daisy lives here. She was designing a rocket last time I spoke to her. Come on, there's an exit at the top of the staircase. Well, we can't get through here. I wonder if Banku caused this mess. We can probably climb Daisy's rocket and get out, out that way. is gone. I guess she finally launched it. Flying to the ether. Is that even possible? I guess we'll never know. But now we have to find another way to get out. What's that? And lost oh. pieces. And I can move. Some more pieces. What's happening, Anne? They're helping us. I hope. Hmm. Why you think you them? They almost devoured us. Did um, they got. They're not lost pieces anymore. Well, how nice for them. Bye. Take care. All right. Can we move on now, please? They got us to where we have to go. So at least we're safe now. Let's hope they find some peace. You have some powerful friends, Anne. I'm not sure. It must have been the caretaker. <laughs> Remember the last time we were here? Don't remind me. It wasn't that long ago. Feels like another life. Come on, follow me. So now we're on our way to the Do you tower. Think you can convince me otherwise. You haven't made a belt before. You're a rebel and rebels are We're freedom fighters. I want you off the streets. Who cares what you want? Yeah, you don't fool us. Sounds like you've been hit on the head a few too many times. All I want is to get back to the ether, feel a foot again. All you want is to destroy my dream. And that's all it is. A dream. Take that back. Or... Or what? Or... Or I'll distill you. You think this isn't a real depleter? He'll do it. You're a forgotten boot. A single boot. Your owner probably dumped you in a trash pile. Don't talk that way about my owner. No one cares about your owner. Yeah, keep going. We sure show them. Stupid, useless rebel. What a pointless loss. Huh. 
That was me. That boot was me. Not anymore. Come on. We need to move on. I can revive her. I just have to find a way down there. And I can bring her back. Big. Are you ready to distill two forgotlings to revive one? You're right. We better move on then. Either way, a loss is a loss. So, what is the plan? Getting inside the tower is not a problem. There's a secret entrance from my house. We still need to get past security at two stations. Not to mention that lunatic gun forgotling. Huh? Chief Inspector Magnum, I can handle him. We'll pretend you're my prisoner and he'll let us in. No questions asked. Yep. Of course, the gun nut will just let us straight through. He's a fan. Will you trust me for once? I think you owe me that. He's a fan, All right. right? Fill me in on the details, please. He's a if fan. I told man. you now you'd refuse to go. Very encouraging. Over this way. Right behind you. Hi, it's the enforcer and rebel leader outside. Move it. I want to see too. It's feeding him. Not sure what they're doing. Hey, Billy, go back to your room now. Ah, oh, that's not what I want to do. Where am I? It sucks that I had to do a lot of work again. Friend. I did my job. The enforcer. Oh, that settles it. I'm doing it now. Wait. Wait. I just did what the enforcer would have done. No, you do, Spag. You've forgotten how she inspired us. She didn't distill the shoe or mop. Exactly. She didn't distill any forgotlings. Now I think about it. Idiot. Stop being such a painted. That distiller has driven you mad with power. Excuse me. That walkie-talkie got what he deserved. Quiet. What do you think about this walkie-talkie business? You could influence it, you know. I think I have an idea. I can revive that walkie-talkie if you want me to. Well, maybe that's not such a great idea now I think about it. She can't revive him. The Arca doesn't work that way. It does now. If that's true, maybe we shouldn't revive him. After all, he did distill one of our own. I'll revive him no matter what you say. Also, we'll get to enough events. Sure. Let's go. Yeah, I, I shouldn't have done that. Nobody should really be wielding this power over life. Hmm. Hmm. Sorry, guy. Chief Inspector Magnum has gone mad. He's detaining just about everyone he meets. Ever since he heard the enforcer. Jump! I don't think I can make that jump! Come on, Anne. You can do it. Just aim for my hand. Mm. You do run a jump. <laughs> we ain't got nothing to do this still, so. Inspector Magnum, sounds like him. 
Look, Magnum's there. Don't worry, I have a plan, remember? About that, isn't it about time you explain the details? He's a fan of mine. We jump down there and I distill you. What? We pretend that I went undercover to catch you. And to prove that I'm really on Banku's side, I distill you in front of everyone. I was distilled once and that's more than enough. Let's just pretend that... Magnum needs to see me distill you. He has no clue that I can bring you back now. I'll revive you as soon as we're on board the train to the tower. You promise? Mm -hmm. I trusted you with my life once, didn't I? What do you want me to do? We jump down in front of everyone, and I say something like... Mr. Fig, I finally found you. Prepare to be distilled. And you say... Stay your hand. The darkness of your Arca shall never reach my soul. Long live the Freedom Fighters! <laughs> yes, exactly! I knew you had an actor. That was perfect! Really? You think so? Absolutely! Then I distill you, bring you on the train, and revive you. Alright, let's get to it. So let's pretend like we're still in Mr. Fig. Better hope Magna falls for it. You may want to take your boy in custody after that. that the Enforcer was on an undercover mission for Bonku and never was on my side after all. She sure fooled me. The end has come for you, Mr. Fig. I will now. So this is how it ends. The terminus of my life has arrived taking the form of an adolescent damsel. Observe how the Lady of Anima prepares my inescapable doom. Fig, what are you doing? I have arrived at my day's cataclysmic conclusion. Oh, oh sick. Yeah. Apologize for that. I'll be back to it. Um, indeed, indeed you, have. you have. And now you will. Oh, if only you knew what I have seen with these, my eyes. What I have felt with these, my hands. What I have smelled with these, my. You reach it, fam. You, you sound too Never predictable again now. Shall I perceive any sensation of the. No, you shall not, because I'm distilling you now. What will be? After the anima sectami, what will I become? This to which destiny Those, have my feet? They'll taken? expose us in no time if, you die, if I don't I do something. Listened. Had I but. Well, I didn't know I was supposed to do that, you know? Okay. Switch sides? This was your plan. I told you, didn't I tell you? What a plan. What a scheme. What a talent. Bravo, Enforcer. Thank you. It's good to be back. <laughs> Something not right. You're right. We have to celebrate. Hmm. No need. Everything is fine the way it is. The rebel leader was finally caught by me, the Enforcer. Let me just get him on the train to the tower, and you can all go about your business. Yes, let's get on the train. Plum bum, seal, fig, and box. Yes, seal in that no good wooden trader and get him on the train. Just a moment. Endorser have not worried at all. We can trust Plum bum with this, Madam Endorser. Uh, Madam Enforcer. 
Allow me to escort you. This wasn't part of the plan. I never imagined that my first time in the VIP lounge would be in your company, Land Enforcer. Such an honor. It's over here. We need to find a way to get Mac. Uh, hold on. Not here. Endorser in V I E. Right. Really being a douche right now. Really. After all I did, man. After all I did, I said cool with twice. Fantastic carriage, isn't it? Master Bunku had it made for his trips into town. Doesn't get any better than this. I can't remember the last time I felt this calm. No rebel can reach us here. They sure can't. You said no rebel could reach us here, right? That's right. We're completely safe. What, with you here? Me, of course. And me? Suppose a rebel did strike. What would you do? Well, I would hurry out of this lounge and conduct a good old search and destroy with Amp. I see. Search and destroy, huh? Minimum enforcer. Amp and Plumbum can take care of everything. Just stay in here and relax. I ain't gonna time to relax, dude. Fix outside. How do I get him on get to him on notice? Good question indeed. Ah, the smell of victory. You sure showed those puny rebels who's boss. Yes, I certainly did. The rebels are cunning, I'll admit that. But our very own eye in the sky proved to be more cunning by far. It was a team effort. I didn't do it alone. We're a team, remember? Man, to know that my work is that I have to be a part of this historic days. Thank you. Well, why don't we move into the... Imagine that rebel leader in there, lifeless in a dark box like the thing he is. Let's go inside. I can't tell you how great it feels to finally get rid of these pesky rebels. I bet you plan this I need to find a way to distract those snoopers. But before that, even... Hmm. How, though? Oh, a good idea. Yeah, I know that. Downstairs. Get them! Catch them! Distill them! One of us should stay with you, Madam Enforcer. Who do you prefer? Me or Amp? Uh. I think I'd like Amp to do it. Amp? Oh, you mean Amp should go look for the rebels? Of course I'll stay here. Get a move on you, lousy bullhorn! Yes, sir! Luxuries in here, madam. No need to go out there. Mm. Hmm. 
I wish I could though. Take a seat. I'll deal with this. Deputy? Yes, it's just me. What's wrong? I'm trapped, but I'm alright. I'll get you out later. <laughs> I have to look for the rebels. Yeah, uh, sorry, I trapped you too. This big dude will see me. Where am I? Wait, am I in a box? <laughs> and? Pig, it's so great to hear your voice again. Never mind my voice. Get me out. Well, I have good news and bad news. Of course you do. The good news is that you're alive again. That part of the plan worked perfectly. Wonderful. The bad news is that Magnum, Amp, and that big brute Plumbum are on the train with us. Never mind. T-Man and Vic can solve that. Just let me out. Well... That's the bad news, isn't it? Plumbum put a huge cargo box on top of you. It's too big for me to move. You're gonna leave me in this box? Once we reach the station, I'll get you out. I promise. Then why did you revive me now? You could have just waited. Oh. I didn't think of that. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry. sorry. I guess it would have been better to wait. Will you be alright? Just do what you have to do. See you soon, Fig. Please don't forget about me. Okay, get back in the seat. Anyway. We'll do the rest of that on the next episode. Peace out.